especially after 11 o'clock. You see, the weatherman says his prediction was 16 degrees, which is really close to 14. Barbara's was 19, mine was 20. I'm kind of, yeah, are we going to make 20 degrees? I'm kind of second guessing that. Still plenty of day, we'll find out. It is Friday, July the 8th, and, well, I tell you what, let me do this. Galaxy. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and today, would you believe, we're actually making history. We really, really are, because we've never been to Barcelona before, and, well, I've been wanting to go there for a lifetime, literally. So I'm going to find out a little bit about Barcelona by talking to Ella and the good boys, well, Ella anyway, the... Uh, Good boys, I think they're asleep right now. It's about one o'clock in the morning over there. So I got to thank the young lady for staying up so late to be able to talk to us here in the Antipodes. Uh, now, at the same time, I want to let you know, and welcome to Facebook Live. If you're going to watch it a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? No, you do. Seriously, uh, believe me, you really do. Sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people and when we make history like going for a place for the very first time. Uh, thumb, get epileptic. Go on. <laughs> like us a lot. I double, 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 all of those dare you's, okay? And sub, become part of the noise. That's the uh, Galaxy family, the fan base. Be a part of the noise. It grows exponentially every day. Uh, but in the meantime, I suppose I should do this as well. I've got to let you know how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV. Big record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here at Galaxy. Check it out. Another Indie Artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music, The Orchard. So, okay, we're not going to mess around with this one. We're going to get right into it. Here's Ali. And the good boys, yes, the blues is my business. 1,701 requests so far, believe me, it is climbing too. This is fantastic. <laughs> so we've got a couple of minutes to get to know each other. So, um, Ella, I really appreciate you staying up so late, I really do. It's a pleasure. Thank you for well, thank you for inviting me. Well, believe me, absolute pleasure, it really is. Uh, now, I've got to let you know it's not easy getting an interview and all played here on Galaxy because we're literally in every country of the world and um, we have a very serious board. Any given board meeting might be eight or 12 people and it's our reputation they're worried about. You know what I mean? So just getting past those guys uh, to Barbara, to Hi, production... Uh, then it comes to me, but check this out, Jennifer, Barbara gives it to me on a stuff. USB kind of and device anyway. and I play music in my car and I've got a huge stereo in my car, I've got to be honest, it's awesome, uh, but I do it for two reasons. First reason is nobody can in uh, influence me on whether or not I want to do the interview, it's all based on the music and I get no information, literally no artist title, no title of the song, anything, just the music. So. Uh, when I'm suitably impressed with that, uh, I go back to Barbara and say, set this up, let's do this. So I congratulate you for getting this far. Uh, second reason too, by the way, is nobody else actually wants to drive with me. <laughs> it's true, it really is. Barbara's son is a former New Zealand champion car racer, drive sideways, right? Mm -hmm. Her grandson is a current New Zealand champion car racer, drive sideways, right? She won't get in the car with me. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things. But that's where I decide whether I like yeah, the music and whether I want to do the interview. Because we have so many so people. And you know, it is so refreshing yourself. to have somebody in blues for a change. And especially a female. I am absolutely elated. I really, really am to be able to do this. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, we do like to have a bit of humour in this because, well, we're just that weird to be honest with you. So uh, 
if I ask you a, a sort of an offbeat sort of a question or something like that, um, <clears throat> my wife will hit me later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Can promise. You laugh, uh, well, you know, she will throw something heavy at me soon, uh, at an appropriate time. He's not abused. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Believe me. Um, how, how many countries are on board today? 148. Oh, oh nice. There's 148 countries tuned in right now. It's not oh, bad. Wow. That's not bad. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today I'm absolutely elated. Not only are we making history for the very first time going to Barcelona, uh, but for the first time we're meeting up with Ella and the good boys. That's the band. Uh, I don't think there's any good boys there though right now. I think they're all being good boys and sleeping where they should be, you know, as good boys should be. Uh, it is Friday, July the 8th and believe me, it's such a pleasure to have everybody along. Uh, Ella has been... Uh, singing from roughly around the age of 12 years of age, coming from Milan, Italy, right now residing, of course, in Barcelona. Uh, welcome to Galaxy Ella. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. It is an absolute pleasure to finally meet you, and I've got to be honest with you, when we very first started playing your music here at Galaxy, uh, blew up the internet. Everybody wanted to know who, what, when, where, how, when are we doing the interview? We're doing it now. Uh, and believe me, uh, it is such a pleasure because I'm a big blues fan myself. I've got to be honest. I'm, I'm kind of partial to the blues, uh, and, and which is weird because everybody asks me, what's your favourite kind of music? What's your favourite song? What's your favourite artist? All that sort of stuff. Being a DJ, not allowed to do that. You know what I mean? You've got to like everything. But I'm liking Ella and the Good, Boy, and the good Boys. Now tell me, why did you get into blues? Well, that's a good one. Um, I'm coming actually from the Americana. I lived and performed in the southern part of the state, Nashville, for, for some years. And I still have in my heart um, all this, this music uh, from country to blues country, southern rock. When we started with the band, we wanted to put together all the influences of the four, of the four members. And uh, I love blues. I love blues. This is this is part of the Americana style I love. And, and the Max, the, the bass player and producer, is coming actually more from the roots of blues. He played with BB King um, and with other people and had for many, many, many years a blues band in Germany. He's got still got blue blue blood. Okay. And uh, the guitar player, he he has the kind of Blues rock style, coming more from the rock blues than, than, than blues rock. And the drama is coming more from this universal music with a lot of African sounds. And uh, he started in the UK. The UK, as you know, is, is blues rock actually very popular. So we put everything together and we never thought of, oh, what, what, should, what should I write or what should we play? It came so naturally that at the end, we just looked at the at the list of the songs that we wanted to play, and we thought, okay, this is blues rock, and that's it. You know, I, I see here in your bio one of your influences was ZZ Top. Now, I, I want to let you know, uh, I've actually worked with ZZ Top in the past. I know Billy Gibbons and the boys very, very well. In fact, uh, condolences. We lost the member of ZZ Top not so long ago, uh, and uh, believe me. Uh, not only am I a DJ, Ella, but I'm also a uh, an engineer as well. I've been an engineer for about almost 40 years, uh, doing studio engineering and front of house, and I've toured, uh, toured with some of the biggest bands in the world, recorded in some of the best recording studios in the world, 
And it's not often that something grabs my attention, wants me to know more about a particular artist or a particular band. Uh, you, i got to be honest with you, I absolutely stopped in my tracks, wanted to know more instantly. And, uh, well, how long have you been with the good boys? One year. How did you meet these guys? <laughs> okay, um, actually I've been playing with Max, with the bass player, since 2005. Um, and Victor, the drummer, came into our life, our musical life, um, four years ago, four years ago. And Carlos, the guitar player, is the last one. So we met him one year ago and we started the project together. So how do we make it? Uh, that, that's a good question. I think it, it's a kind of um, good collaboration. Is that is that a good word? Um, maybe the fact that I've been working with uh, with Max and Victor so many years that played a big role, I guess. And uh, um, yeah, Carlos kind of actually liked my my songs. He, he's, he arranged part of some of them. Um, we've been working together. Well, for this year now, all these months, and it was actually easy. I don't know how to express this. <laughs> well, I tell you what, uh, as I say to you, I've been an engineer for almost 40 years, and it, it, as I say again, not often that I, because I hear bands every day, and I hear a lot of them. I really, really do. Never really have time to communicate with anybody else because we're doing so many behind the scenes things to make this radio station work the way it does around the world. Now, I want to know where you've been getting this recorded. Who's been doing your engineering for you? Okay, um, okay, good. We, <laughs> we recorded uh, not far away from here, so uh, Max is the producer, the bass player. We're together with an engineer, his name is Leo Pascal. Is of a studio here next to to uh, the place where we live. Very great guy. Uh, the two have been working together. That's um, yeah, that's the first album that we do together, and we are planning with the second one, and we'll we'll be working together still. So I think Max, um, this is not the first production production that Max. No, so you can imagine he's got a big years like this, and. Um, He's got his own habits. He mastered, he did the mastering of the songs as well. So, um, yeah, I think, and everybody actually is giving us a great feedback about the production. So we are very happy about that. We're going to keep this kind of sound for the future. And this is also what we want to, to express. We are not a band that is um, correcting everything. Well, you know, um, as I say to you, as an engineer, I, I don't listen to music as a fan would listen to it. I listen to it as an engineer, as a uh, DJ, as a sales rep, if you know what I mean, and, and break it down in its increments, stuff like that. And I'm absolutely fascinated with the structure of your work. I really am. Now, we opened up the show with The Blues Is My Business. Give me the skinny on this one. 1,701 requests so far. This is gaining momentum here at Galaxy. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay, we, we wanted to um, to start with uh, something strong, and this is a song that I didn't write, but uh, Edna James covered it. Um, it was actually written in 2000. Great song. This is a message that we're going to give out to the world. But as you can see, this is not the pure blues, what we do. So when we... When I sing, um, and the guys are singing the backing vocals, the blues is our business, and business is good, we are rough, right? That is a rough song. That is expressing the blues rock that we want to um, embody. So, rough sounds. Um, so th this is what I say always. This, is the power of blue of the rock, so this strong passion of rock and the emotions of blues. Is that maybe what what, what we want to say with this with this album? I don't know. There's a lot of Americana as you can see here, so my influence is quite big and the way I sing it. I don't want to 
talking about myself about the big blues singers. Um, many people tell me, oh, you should try it with country. <laughs> you got to be like, oh, really? Oh, I know that. So, but um, I think the, the, the interesting part of our music is the mix. Well, I, I got to be honest with you, uh, and, and believe me, only go with what you're comfortable with. Don't listen to anybody else. If you're comfortable with blues, master it. You know what I mean? Uh, and, yeah. and go where your heart is. Don't, don't go where other people's minds are. It never works out. It really doesn't. Uh, but having said that, Tiffany, coming out of Reno, uh, wants to know, uh, are you looking at touring back in the States again? Are you doing any touring at the moment? Will you come back to the States and possibly play in Reno? Oh my God, that's a question. Um, we went on tour in May. We just uh, made four of CDs. Uh, it was like a test and to see um, how our music is welcome there and that was overwhelming. So we are going back next year and uh, next year we're going to embrace more CDs. Very that, that, was, that, was, that was great. The feedback was great. We are playing at the end of July here in Spain. We got two big blues, um, blues parties, blues festival, and we are planning now um, the autumn. <clears throat> what we are planning actually really, and, and you know, um, Spain is the country which is actually short term um, country. So the, the, some, some places are just calling you two weeks before they want to the concert, okay? This is not the rule, but that can happen. Germany is more long-term planner, so we need to plan it six months or six, seven months now, um, before the delay. So, actually, after the summer, we are starting to plan um, the northern part of Europe, and this is actually where um, we think that our music is more at home. Not because Spain it is not the country for that, but because there is is. Um, you know, I've more the impression. I got more the impression there are really these blues bars, old fashioned, ugly but cool, <laughs> with great beer, great drinks. We don't have this kind of bars that way here in Spain. It's not the usual. The the, the culture of uh, look, we played in Cologne in Germany with a blues bar that won. The prize, the award, 19, uh, 2019. That means that they had a culture for blues bars. Absolutely. And the, the bar was full. The bar was full. Yeah. It, was, it was, oh my God. Yeah. You know, Ella, I'm going to have to introduce you to a friend of mine coming out of Germany. Absolute master as a blues artist, his own right. Uh, also does studio work and master stuff as well. Believe me, he's an absolute yeah. genius. Uh, his name is Jorg, and he has a TV thing kind of going as well called Jorg's World. So believe me, uh, I think you two would get on like a house on fire. I really, really do. Uh, now, I do have another fan question for you coming from Rebecca, uh, coming out of Alberta, Canada. And Rebecca's asking, as a fan, Ella, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, do you respond? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. uh, I, uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm having a laugh about that one, literally, because you're going to get another 5,000 Facebook fans. You're not going to have time to do anything. <laughs> well, we got... Uh, I, are you talking about our social media? Yeah. Yeah. So, that, that's, that's my mess. That's my big mess. So, I got uh, Alien the Good Boys and I got Alien the Good and uh, I, I actually answer uh, the same day. If it's not now at the other side of the world that I need to wait for 12 hours, please forgive me if I'm sleeping. Um, but I, I respond. I do my posts. Uh, we do the stories together. And I post only true things. So everything that has to do with our music. In LMLA, you can see actually my dog, my cats, and my garden, and me. And my music, but Elian the Good Boys is um, yeah, is open for everyone that likes this kind of music. I post a lot of videos, a lot of uh, short videos, reels, and um, 
we, because we do also concerts duo with Carlos, me and Carlos, and then trio with the Max at the bass. So we do a kind of blues trio, very intimate stuff. And we got some concerts and I got some great videos which I'm posting also. Very, and I'm recently on the Very cool. Now, uh, Toby, coming out of Edinburgh in Scotland, and is asking Elena. How do I buy product from you? Do you have a merch store? Do you have a website I can go to to buy a uh, product? M much like t-shirts, koozies, stuff like that. That's great. We don't have a t-shirt yet, but um, we got a lot of records. You can go to all the digital platforms and you can find our records. In the future, I would like to have t-shirts for girls also. And for men. Because I don't like when I want a t-shirt of a band and they only have this normality like what you have. We girls, we need something girlish. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I know that I'm gonna do what? You sound, sure. you sound like Barbara. She goes, I like the V things. I don't like them around my neck. Yeah. Stuff like ah, that. Exactly. That's exactly. That's important. That's special. Having said that. Anyway, having... Yeah, in the platform. Yeah, but having said that, uh, and I'm going to say this to you, when you do get some t-shirts, keep me in mind, I'll tell you why, because this is really relevant, and it works as well too. Today I'm wearing the Mighty One, coming out of Canada, of course, Tim Steinreich, good friend of mine, and also part of Rise Up TV, uh, believe me. People go and look at Lena, they, while I'm doing these interviews, they're on the interwebby thing, they're finding out who I'm wearing, and where they can go and buy the product. Before you know it, you've got a few extra dollars in your bank account, which is absolutely awesome because artists need money. <laughs> they do, really. And through this pandemic -y thing, they need to recuperate a lot of the, the losses, you know, not being on stage, not making money. While this was happening too, by the way, over there with the pandemic -y thing, were you writing more? Were you recording more? Well, during the pandemic, um, there's something that I did, um, which actually I'm very proud of. I wrote the song Find the Way, the song that you, you got there. And I sent it to um, a sound competition in the US for Americana music. And I didn't win, but among the 24,000 senders, I was among the first 10%. That was for me a big success because I've never done anything like this before and that was the first time. And I think, I remember I was in the kitchen and, uh, and I said, oh look if you want. And I didn't win, come on. And then I saw my name and I cried. Can you imagine that? It was my song, this, this is the song that I wrote and dedicated to all the persons that lost someone during the COVID time because um this is a real story um we, we i lost I mean, we lost our family's doctor that was working as volunteer in the, in the hospital and um and i was so sad that i wrote the song by the way it was written in that time of, of COVID. so yeah during the COVID time i was writing i was cleaning my wardrobe i was <laughs> buying shoes online, um, yeah, and writing songs. <laughs> I take it you're a shoes girl. Very, very cool. Uh, <laughs> Terry Van Cannon's joining us out of North Carolina. Now, I've got to let you know, Ella, Terry is a master of slide steel, absolutely master at it. And he says, uh, how is the blue, uh, blue scene in Spain? Some friends of mine over there, Sue Kate's brothers come from Spain. Have you ever heard of them? Say it again. The Suitcase Brothers. No. No. Oh, well, Terry, I tried. I asked for you, okay? Uh, but believe me, he really is a master, and he's going to be in a latest edition of uh, Lazy Indie Magazine. I want to talk to you that, about that very, very shortly, but maybe I'm just losing my mind. You, you never know, believe me, you've got to lose your mind to work here in the first place. Um, Ella, losing my mind, really? Tell, yeah. me, tell me about this track. Yeah, Losing My Mind is one of my big, big songs that was in my wardrobe for many, many years. Because I played this, I wrote this song in 2007. And uh, I played this with the band that I had at that time in Germany. And then I just 
forgot this song. It just it was there somewhere, somewhere in the in the, in the crowd. And uh, and when came this 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 album, Max said, "Hey, you wrote something that is a kind of blues rock and roll." I can't forget. I can't. I I, I forgot. And then he, he started to sing. I said, "Yeah, you're right." We took it out. I wrote um, another verse because we had only three at that time, and that, now we have four. And that's it. Losing my mind. Well, I've got to tell you, Ella, and uh, believe me, uh, a lot of Galaxy is put together by the amount of requests we get per artist, per track, and, and we structure our shows around that. 2,588 requests for Losing My Mind so far on a Tuesday night for the Blues Show. That is phenomenal. You're doing absolutely splendid at it. You really are. So, right here at Galaxy, here is Ellie and the Good Boys Losing. My mind. <laughs> How are you feeling? Do you need a drink or anything? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, do you need a psychiatrist? I, I know a good one. I'm a psychologist. Don't uh, worry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just playing with you. <laughs> uh, tell me. You're not a vegetarian. Uh, you're not a vegan, are you? Here we go with the no. So you're oh, a vegan. Actually, because I love Why my you pets. Have... Okay, but, oh, you've got any new but, but you're a meataholist like me. You like to eat meat? I don't eat a lot of meat because it's very heavy. On... I, put my, I, I go crazy for sushi. Yeah, you've got to wonder where this conversation's going, though, don't you? <laughs> have you ever tried. Oh, I like that. Have you ever tried a vegan sausage? It's a soya, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, look, are they made of real <laughs> vegans or not? <laughs> no, I've never. I've ne Wait, I ate an hamburger that was vegan or something like that. Okay, was it made of a real vegan or not? I think, but it was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was really upset when Girl Guide biscuits weren't made of real Girl Guides, you know what I mean? Uh, well, yeah. I was, you know. Kind of was. <laughs> Swish. <laughs> Swish. I like it. Uh, I need some water. Give me some water. Uh, that's not water. <laughs> it's lemonade. Hmm. I don't drink. Only non-alcoholic drinks. So it's not alcoholic, I promise. Otherwise yeah, I'd get fired. The bosses don't like me. Drinking She's it? one of them. What's She's it? one of them. There's about well, three bosses here and two-thirds of them are female. As it should be. You have to do as you're told. I do have to do as I'm told. Very much I do. Ah, dear idea. I said these. I said these. Hey, Lucian. Um, and Jennifer from Diamonds and Whiskey. Yeah. Hi, darling. Cities. Countries. Huh? Countries. Oh, Ed, Countries, yeah. I'm Countries. loving your new yeah. track. In 22. Hi, Pamela. 79. Lisa. 2279. Wow. I'm not getting these people here. No, I don't know why. And okay. John Pater, that was fantastic with Ashley just before. We'll go back to the desk. Hi, Pamela. <laughs>
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. So very happy to have you guys on board. It really, really is. Uh, John Pater, uh, we're protective glasses. I had a word to Ashley. She's going to give you a poke in the eye, okay? Believe me. <laughs> it's one of those things. Loved catching up with Ashley just a wee while ago. Really, really did. Uh, losing your mind. I think I saw it wobbling around here somewhere a wee while ago. Oh no, that was Brooks, our production manager. I'm sorry, it's wrong mind. Having said that, everybody that's joining us this morning, I'm really, really happy to introduce you to a uh, young lady who does sing the blues. And believe me, we don't get enough young ladies singing the blues. We really, really don't. I'm elated to be able to release a lot of Ella and the Good Boys work here at Galaxy. But unfortunately, uh, we do have a few to go. Uh, but we're not going to play them today, unfortunately. We've uh, got time constraints, but I do want to talk about Dancing with the Devil because this particular track, and believe me, this one is making huge inroads, over 3,700 requests and climbing. I'm going to get into the details very shortly. Uh, but believe me, I've got to applaud you on this particular track because it seems to literally have people connecting with this track. How the heck did you do that? That's good. Um, rock and roll. That's what the devil is the story of, uh, of living like a musician. What? You can find me in the morning lights drinking coffee coming back from the night. Yeah, I remember those days. I wrote this song after a dream. Okay. I wrote this song in the night. I wrote this song. I had to wake up, sing this song in my cell phone. I still have my my um, my track, and um, nothing. When I got back to my guitar, I wrote the chords, and that's it. And that's dance with the devil. The way I wrote it in one. It, I think I wrote it in twenty minutes or something like that. Well, it was my hat. I, I got to let you know, and, and believe me, we're in over 2,200 cities. 22, 22 58. 58. 58. Okay, uh, huge amount of cities around the world, and literally these people have been relating to this particular track. I mean, 3,500 requests since we've been playing you, which is not a lot of time. I got to be honest, you really are making that connection with our audio audience or the noise as we call them because it is growing louder and louder and louder every day now when you wrote this particular track you say that it was after a dream and you did everything like that i find these particular tracks literally have the most longevity they really do i speak to so many artists they say hey listen i did it in five minutes i, I, I dreamt about it i put it together and before you know it it is this piece of work fantastic who mastered this? Max. Max did. Well, yeah. well, wrap them up in cotton wool, put bubble wrap around them, don't let them go anywhere, and just have them mastering your work forever and a day. What do you reckon? Don't worry, who's my husband? He's not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> had to be a cat. I Absolutely, yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah, marry them. Literally, they can't go anywhere after that. But, literally here at Galaxy is Ellie and the Good Boys and this is their number one track it really really is Dance with the Devil here at Galaxy You can find me in the morning light Drinking coffee coming back from the night How's the day? Ah yeah I like this track You like this track? Yeah Yeah, yeah. Me, everybody does here They really do I, I, no, Thank you, thank you very much I played it the other day, literally, and I had to go from one office to the other to a studio, and of course I passed through reception and everything. Everybody, of course we have in-house pipe stereo speakers and everything going as we do this. Everybody was dancing. Everybody, you know, it's hard to do, it really is, because a lot of them are too busy to do a lot of stuff, you know. Even the receptionist was having a bit of a sway behind the counter. <laughs> Good old Sarah. Good old Sarah, we caught her. I did. Roger Dale Snyder. Nice to have you on board, Roger. It really, really is good to have you back. It is. Um, 
Ali, will you come back again and can we complete this interview? Sure. Um, it would be good if maybe Max was here, I don't know, but I don't know, they, they sleep. It, it was very late. He wanted actually to come to the interview, Max, but he fell asleep on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, uh, when he wakes up, when, when he wakes up, give Not him all the no, I well, when he wakes up, give him a poke in the eye for me, won't you? I will. I no worries. No worries. I will. Uh, as I say, after we finish this up, uh, don't go anywhere. Very quickly, we'll do some photos. We've got people who want to do photos. Barbara puts it all together uh, as a movie. You'll get a copy of that as well. It'll go on to fa Facebook, YouTube, all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Then, well, she's going to turn it into a cartoon as well. I think you look lovely as a cartoon. Me, you know, it's one of the few things that actually does make me look good. <laughs> it does. Wow. Well, hey, look. These guys all look hey, look. Strange. I, I, right. I've got the perfect face for radio. <laughs> anyway, hang in there, my friend. And i got to say, hey, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute thank pleasure. You very much. I'll let you know how many were online after we do this, okay? right you're right here at galaxy 107 fm and today i'm joined by ali from ali and the good boys and believe me uh barcelona we've never been there before and it is an absolute pleasure to go and pay vi visits over that way and believe me i'm loving this i really really am but unfortunately we are going to have to wrap this up right now uh, and uh, we would just ask one more small small question are you recording any more at the music? Uh, are you looking at releasing any more new music in the near future? Will you come back again? Will you come and work with us again? Sure, sure. Nice. If there is new music, and surely I have to come back again. Ab absolutely yeah. brilliant. Love, love, love that. And um, uh, this time, maybe, just maybe, just maybe, uh, you might be able to bring the hubby along with you. He might stay awake long enough. What do you reckon? I hope so. Two coffees in the afternoon, maybe. But he, he sleeps also when we cook, so yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know what sleep is, I really don't. I usually start work about 10.30 at night and I'm lucky to get home again by about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the evening. So believe me, I spend a lot of time at the radio station. I really, really do. And I've got a lot of people working with us to keep this going around the world. We really, really do. So I have to humbly thank you so much for joining us and I am so looking forward to uh, following your career through the future. Uh, at the same time, are you familiar with the Galaxy Facebook artist page on Facebook? I am already in the group. Great. Use it. Use it, use it, use it. All I can say, I love that, I really do. All I can say, Ella, is uh, people go there and have a look and it could be anybody from a promoter, a label, a uh, venue owner, somebody who wants to, you know, be a part of the music scene, all sorts of things. If you're going to release a new song or you've got a new logo, going to the opening of a shoebox, I don't care. Use it, they look, and it's about promoting Ella and the Good Boys. You know what I mean? So you're talking about the group in Facebook, right? Where I joined today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. It, it, it's free and it's there, and believe me, huge amounts of people go and get to know who you are literally having said that though i'm also going to be very very cheeky and say next time you're next to a recordable 58 microphone or something like that how would you like to do me a couple of voice drops saying hi Atella, you can hear me on galaxy 107 fm something like that what do you reckon sure, sure. i can prepare them in the next day sometimes to you awesome mp3 please and, and send them to barbara she'll make sure production get them they work on it but it's again 
It's about keeping your name, your band's name, uh, your voice in our audience's ears so they get to know who you are. You know what I mean? Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet. But in the meantime, let me tell you how happy I've been to be able to have you guys join us today from wherever you are. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're a first-time viewer, thank you for joining us. Be a part of the noise. Now, if you're going to go over to YouTube, go and have a look over there. Yes, it's going to be there. Uh, and believe me, do the uh, sub, thumb, bell thing. Yeah, notifications, like us, and become part of the family. I dare you. Be a part of the noise. But in the meantime, stay safe. And i got to say... Thank you to Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here at Galaxy. Ella and the good boys coming out of Barcelona joined us today. Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music, The Orchard.